Hello and welcome to this session on Postman beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn how can we run a SOAP request in Postman. So we will see how can we add a SOAP request in Postman and then we will run and validate. So let's get started and let me go to my Postman and here I will first create a new collection so you can go to this new button here and go to collection or you can also go to this drop down in the new button and go to collection or you can also click on this button to create a new collection so here I will say this is soap collection and just create it and inside this I can create a new request so first I will get a soap request so for that I will go to my browser and here I can search for any sample soap request so I will search for a visitor so I have to search for a sample visitor let me search for country info visitor so yes I have got one visitor so visitor is the web services description language which is used in soap and you can see this is the URL here so you can get your visitor URL here or in case you have a URL for the soap request you can get that as well so I will write the steps here step number one is get soap request URL or WS DL URL and I have to go to my postman and in a request I have to add in the request URL this particular URL of the soap web service so this is the URL of the soap web service and I will set the method as post here so you have to add to request URL step number two is set method as post and then the third step is you have to go to the body section and click on draw and here in this drop down select text XML okay and when you select text XML here you can see a new header is already created which is content type text XML so you can do either ways either you can go to the headers and set this content type as text XML or when you go to your body and select raw and select text XML this header will be generated automatically so I will write down the step here step 3 is set body as raw and set text XML and then step number four is provide request data in the body so now what we have to do is we have to give the request message or the request data here in the body section so for that what you will do is if you have your visual URL you need some client that can generate the soap request so one of the things you can do is you can either use any soap client uh, you can also use tools like soap UI to pass the visual document or pass the visual URL and get your soap messages or soap API requests and you can also use some plugins so if I go to my Chrome and go to apps and go to web store I can find some plugins like uh, there is a plugin called Vistler. If I search for Vistler, I will get this. So here is the plugin for Chrome. You can get this. I have already added this. So if you go to your Vistler URL on the Chrome browser, you will see this is enabled, which is browse WSTL. So this is the Vistler plugin. If you click here, you can see it has given you all the SOAP requests that are available in this Vistler document so for example I say I just need the capital city it has given me the request body so I can just copy it from here and go to my postman and paste it here and you can see here I have to give the country code so I can give any country code like IN is for India and of course if you do not know the country code again you can go to uh, this plugin again and you will find uh, API to get the country codes so you can see there here is another 
API to list the countries by code and if you run this you will actually get all the countries list with the code so you can try this out but for now I am just taking this simple request where I am getting the capital for a country using the country code and here I have added the request and everything so now I can just send it and you can see we have got the message we have got HTTP status 200 which is successful and let me see the response and yes you can see in the response I have got the capital for India which is New Delhi so let me run it again just to verify and yes I am getting this so I will just save this in soap collection so you can see now this is saved to my collection and also to validate the result I can add some test scripts so in the request I will go to tests and I will just add a snippet from the snippet template so I will I'm just adding this status code is 200 and I will just save this and I will run this again and you can see now we have a test also running and of course I can run it from the command line I can either export this collection I can export this as a JSON file and then run through Newman or I can also use a URL so I will go to share and I will go to get link I will get the link here and this is the link I will just copy this link and go to my command line and using Newman we have already learned about Newman which is a command line tool for postman I will say Newman run and I will just give the URL and hit enter and you can see it is now running from command line and using this URL I can run my collection from any remote system as well so step number five is run and validate so this is how you can run your soap requests in postman i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching